Yay! <laughs> Woo! All right, so that was a little, a uh, little icy, but uh, yeah. So I think we got it now. So let me throw some shoutouts like I wanted to early on there. So uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I had to reset the last uh, stream. We lost it, uh, lost all of our audio. So uh, I, yeah. So anyway, I had to reset it and rejubble it. So anyway, Utah is out. So if you guys are looking forward to this, uh, we'll show you at least everything that we possibly can now. We'll tell you right off the bat here. It's good to see some new guys and some familiar faces that can't make it uh, late at night. So thank you guys for coming in. Um, no trucks today so far. Um, nothing as of yet. Uh, they've not released any new trucks. We are actually in a new truck. Payware wise. Hey boy, Will Sandsfield. Thank you there, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you for that super chat. Um, so we are in a John Ruder's brand new updated Freightliner. So we'll be actually doing either a giveaway or a couple of giveaways to this in maybe this weekend. Uh, I got to check and see when uh, our my streaming availability is going to be a little uh, weird this weekend. But anyway, uh, I'm excited for Utah. So we'll be streaming for hour, hour and a half. So you guys hope you all are around for a while. I know it's a little strange being in the daytime. Uh, so hopefully it won't be too bad. So um, let me throw some uh, while I'm here at it. Let me go ahead and throw some shout outs. So, um, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> you're here to win a giveaway. Yeah, <laughs> you've had pretty good luck on those, Matt. There, uh, Michael Anthony, what's up? How are you, man? Or actually, Michael's had some luck on that. What's up there, Matt? Alan, what's up, Josh? We do have a uh, at least one or two tonight, and I'll try to have another one uh, maybe tonight. So we may do one one today, one tonight, one of those type deals, uh, and then we'll see what we got going on. So uh, let me go ahead and throw a few out here. So Cornish, Kevin Jones, what's up, man? James, Mike, K-Boy, good to see you, man. Thanks again for the super chat there. Breast and Goff, uh, J&D Racing, what's up, man? Modern Day Outlaw. Curtis, what's up? Smoke, uh, we got Santa Gresser in here. Zach Hall, what's up, man? Andrew, Nick, good to see you guys. And it's a little weird being in the daytime. I feel, I feel, I feel exposed. Not really, but a few times. There's Johnny three times. What's up, man? Nice devil. Good to see their sponsor in the in the house. Vashel Victor. What's up, man? Chronic. What's up, Big Jim Keegan? Uh, who else we got here? Josh. What's up, man? Sergio Caffini. What's up, man? Good day. Hope you guys are doing good. <laughs> Fish and bears. He comes to Xbox. There you go, man. <laughs> I know you'd be looking forward to that one, man. Uh, hopefully, deadliest catch. I wouldn't mind doing a few more deadliest catch. Uh, to see what they got so all right so let's uh, let's go ahead let's dive right into this i don't want to spend too much time here yakking my uh jaws off which i've been known to uh to do so here is the new state uh some people if you've not watched any dev streams which i really haven't watched any of the dev streams because usually they're pretty um they're pretty basic they don't really i mean they show you driving but the quality's kind of there they're just kind of talking about some of the things they did from the development side which is cool but sometimes people want to see um you know actually get out and actually see the roads and good quality and all that other good stuff so but at any rate utah is actually not i won't say it's not that big it doesn't seem like it has a lot of roads um it's the first thing i know so i haven't watched anybody else's first looks besides jeff's um so i'm kind of just piggybacking on some of the things that i saw there but it does have plenty of connections into our already existing maps which is good uh, and it does have about 10 cities which some people are going to be like oh there's plenty there it's great and then some people are like meh not really um so we'll we'll see what people's overall impressions are on this i'll hold my final impressions until we're actually out here driving on the roads uh because i do know it's good so we've got the uh we're in vegas right now uh so let's go ahead and uh we'll go ahead and start up here and yeah so this is what we're gonna be driving today uh we do have the uh we've got the freightliner this is the new one there from john ruda uh it is a payware but we'll uh do some giveaways either one or two this weekend i'll have to see like i said before and we've also got his uh his uh his chrome um reefer which is in his usa trailer pack which we've done a few of those already as well so what's up alan ella ella and i gave it what's up man lucas that's right, man. Let's get trucking. So it's got a brand new revamped interior, which is awesome. It's got a nice carbon fiber dash, uh, which is what we'll be uh, featuring on today. So uh, get things. Let's see. 
me get this kind of set to where you guys can see everything pretty good kind of daytime so if anything um if anything kind of what's out let me know what's up there ghost galen john what's up man it's good seeing a few of you guys that i don't normally get to see so uh you can also see right below me you can also see uh our destination weight uh all of our other things uh, and that is actually mph i don't i don't know it says it says kilometers but it's it's actually mph so is that 10 months for one is it really what's up man how are you see if i can uh, uh see if uh, yeah he held up on us all right What's up there, Nathaniel? Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, Omar, the new truck did not come out, brother. Uh, nothing's out yet as of trucks. That doesn't mean that it's not going to. It just means that it did not drop with Utah or the 1.36 update. So, yeah, I think they hit something, Matt, actually. Actually, it wasn't me. We're, we're too busy trying to get to Utah. Yeah, we didn't get an early start like some of the rest of them did. <laughs> Doug, what's up, man? Yeah, I know. We already took out cars. We just started. No, we hadn't even made it to the interstate yet. Fixing to take out a taxi here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what kind of Mac we'll see. I mean, they said they wanted the Anthem sounds, but um, I think honestly, just from uh, what I've heard some other people say, I kind of got the feeling that people would have been happier to see a new truck versus see a Utah. I don't know. You guys in chat feel that way? There was a few guys I talked to that, not to say that they weren't impressed, but they were looking forward maybe to a new truck more so than they were for location. So I've got the uh, the Sparko from the Sparko wheel from Thrustmaster. Uh, it's the TSPC, so it's the it's the high end uh, base servo base, but it's awesome. It's all built driven, so it's kind of a co competitor to the uh, Thrustmaster. I mean, uh, sorry, the Fanatec. All right, so we're on the 15 here, so we're uh, literally going to cross the 93, and then we're going to be on our way. You can see the signs coming up right here. Salt Lake City. It is the XL, David. Lowered and stretched. I'll give you outside here. Three slices of uh, warmed up pizza. Yeah, it, it actually is, Nick. It's a lot smoother. The truck's awesome. And this is the cheaper truck he does. This one's only 15 bucks. Most of the guys that do trucks, they do about uh, 25 or 30. What's up, Brian? I'm 
see if I can actually see when we're going to cross over the line here. I don't think I will. Be looking out for the sign. What's up there, Blue Dragon? What's up, man? What's up, Ghost? Georgia Trucker, what's up, man? Long time no see there, buddy. Hey, Michael, I am, man. Firestar, what's up? I hear you, bud. Well, hey, y'all can just hang around with me for a few minutes here. We're starting actually in the south uh, southwestern corner. We just left Vegas. Uh, so we're going to the Interstate 15, and we'll be, uh, you know, actually we're going further now. So we're, I guess we're officially in the Utah Territory now. We're officially there. Uh, yeah, it looks just like my emblem there, uh, Nice Devil. You're in there because I saw you on the sponsor list. All right, Arizona State Line. There, Mitchell, have a good man. Virginia River Cavern. Alright, so here's your first look at some rocks. If you if you haven't looked at the rocks already. Uh yes, Georgia Trucker, it sure does, buddy. Sure does. Uh, he's already updated it to 136, and um, yeah, most of all of my trucks now work in 136. Uh, I believe this is the C15, man. Uh, 550. Hey, what's up, dirt? Yeah, man, update's great, man. It is good. Chase Utah's looking uh, pretty rocky right now, <laughs> but not in a bad way. <laughs> We just literally left southeast corner there of, uh, actually been the northwest corner of Vegas, so we just literally got into Utah, so first little bits here, we're just getting up to uh, St. George, it's uh, just coming into frame on our map, so, so yeah man, B9, what's up buddy? Tell you what, let me just get to the outside, let you guys. Tell you what, let me let me do this first, because if not, you guys are gonna get blared out by the uh, engines on this thing. Let me let me pull the engines back a little bit, because it is uh, a little bit loud. I don't know. By the time I get to the outside, you guys are gonna be like, Can "You turn it down." Yeah, sure, whatever. All right, I don't have outdoors. All right, all right, let's try this. See if this is any better. Yeah, it is, Alan. Especially if you put some. Uh oh. He put some new dashes on the inside, and I uh, got the carbon fiber one here, man. It's good, man. Nom nom cookies. Uh, I'll have to I'll have to do a video on that, man. All right, y'all, let me know if you can still hear me. All right. So here's our port of entry. Utah sign. What's up, Johnny Hernandez? What's up, man? Yeah, the game looks smooth. It is smooth, man. It's uh, part of that's DX11, man. So here's your port of entry, uh, your first uh, way station coming into Utah. Hey, what's up, bud? How are you, man? Hey, man, hard work there, nice devil. I mean, it's, uh, it's you know, a year and a half so streaming on, uh, streaming on YouTube here with uh, different things going on, donation bars and donations and 
video views and you know you name it man hey what's up anthony i'll be honest with you i'm a little bit happy we got some new roads to drive on but i will tell you that man thankful for some new roads not to mention i actually really like this truck boy voices for boredom thank you man appreciate it maybe it'll uh maybe it'll shoot up here in a minute I took them out when I went to the original 136 there, um, Aunt, uh, Alan. So I really haven't, um, I haven't really since 136 beta was in there. I haven't really messed with anything. I've just, I've just left it. Uh, All right, so your first, uh, your first town here, at least on the 15 St. George. Probably noticed some new buildings, etc. You got some new, uh, what do they call the hearts instead of loves gas station? Nice roundabout there. <laughs> Robson, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm a little I'm a little peeved that they actually teased that in the uh, the original update and then they took it out and then they didn't like put out the truck kind of like why not <laughs> why not man all right smoke see what's up man thank you there Alex appreciate it man you've seen the roads every day I know I know but we don't see them here you know man you know church over there Ooh, getting a little close there to the Volvo hey what's up Greg hey thank you there mr. Anthony $10 there for mr. Anthony saying hey man Thanks for driving a man's truck and staying off ETS. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Oh, a temple, not a church. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not giving away a version of ATS. We're actually giving away a copy of uh, Utah. Shane, what's up, man? chase man that's all with that's one that people have wanted uh originally i don't know um i, I don't know if that's something that they're going to really do uh, i would have liked to have seen them being able to have some type of a little bit of a custom logo system that you could actually see your trucks in traffic you can actually see them on the map now which is a step above of what we had so i'm not sure where that's gonna i'm not sure what their their uh, death plan is on when that's going to stop uh, it could be soon. It could be, you know, if it's not very high up on their dev list and, and people are saying, hey, we just want more maps, want more of this, they'll have to put resources where they can, which is, I guess, what it is. Bus driver, what's up, man? Yeah, PC, Steven. Yeah, it doesn't come out on console. Keith, what's up, man? <laughs> You're wrestling for a copy? <laughs> well, I've already got one, so I guess I won. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There, MCR. Yeah, man, it's John Rudas. So uh, we've actually done a few of his trucks on here. Um, you can actually um, find most of all my little reviews, ride-alongs with these trucks. But I'm going to do an update since this is a um, pretty big update to the truck. I was already in it, and I was like, heck yeah, man, we got we got to drive the Freightliner tonight. Since we didn't have a new truck to you know drive from SES, I was kind of disappointed. I wasn't really expecting a ton, but I was, I was hoping. I was hoping. Uh, yeah, bus driver, we'll give away a free copy of it. Certainly will. 
What's up, Alex? I'm good, good, man. Uh, yes, World of Trucks will update uh, and auto, auto update as long as you have Utah in there. Uh, if you have automatic updates, yes, you don't have to worry about a thing. It'll take care of itself. Yeah, side view? Yeah. Driver 210. Appreciate it, man. And we'll have another one. Uh, we'll probably give away another one tonight. So I plan on doing uh, at least whatever else of Utah we haven't done uh, today. There's really not a lot. I mean, it's really a uh, straight roads, and then you've got a lot of branch off into the city. Uh, some kind of bypasses around most of the cities, but we don't have uh, like a ton of interstate roads. I think like um, Arizona, uh, California especially, you've got lots of different uh, transfer routes between um, between interstates. You've got a lot of connectors. This one, you have a lot of main routes, but you don't have a ton of connectors in between the city. So uh, if you wanted to go... Well, the way they set it up, um, Edward, thank you there. Appreciate it, man. Um, the way they've got it set up is if you go from the south, let's say the south um, southwest, you want to go to the southeast, you kind of have to go all the way around to the middle of the map and then back down. So you don't have a lot of connectors in and throughout the map. So that, that would be the only thing that I kind of a little bit bummed about so if you're one of those guys that likes the detour option on ats i might would consider turning it off because <laughs> uh detour to end uh, utah man it's gonna set you back like <laughs> a lot of hours so oh new mexico yeah nobody ever wants new mexico anymore we we rarely even drive in it unless that's where we start for a convoy most most people don't really really care for or like uh new mexico which i i mean i'm indifferent to it I just can't make you happy, Anthony. <laughs> oh, thank you there, Shane. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that, buddy. No TNC, man. We're we're only to uh, we're only to Utah and New Mexico. We hadn't gone any further than that, so. If someone had asked, do I think, uh, you know, do I wonder if some of these um, bigger ones are going to come out of Texas, you got Montana, Idaho. At some point, I would assume that what they're going to do is, is offer a couple of maps, especially through the Midwest states. Uh, they're going to be a lot like this constantly. So I'll be, I'll be anxious to see if they do uh, multiple state region giveaway, uh, not giveaways, but uh, DLCs, kind of like what they do with Eurotruck. Hey, what's up, Black? How are you, man? Steve M, what's up, man? I've been doing good, man. Nicholas Sosa from New York City. What's up, buddy? I don't give you the giveaway code until you actually win it. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. All right, so we got uh, about 170 miles. Josh, what's up, man? I like that robbery. It's four. What's up, man? You can see my buddy all the way over in Europe. So I'm actually streaming on y'all's time tonight. <laughs> well, no like to enter, no like to win. Oh, you want to enter for it? We haven't opened it up yet. <laughs> I thought you wanted just the code of the game. I was like, yeah, giveaways don't work that way. <laughs> I'm not Oprah. I'm just FTG. Uh, the plan, I think, Nicholas was to do it, but uh, who the heck knows if they're actually going to, man. 
I normally stream uh, we normally stream here on YouTube um, later on about 9 30 10 o'clock so you're only about 10 o'clock every night or at least most nights now that we've got some new stuff here once truckers MP gets up we'll have a little bit more uh, hopefully some guys will be a little bit more active we can do some more convoys throughout the week so uh, there should be a little bit a few more things kind of going on around it's just everybody's really taken up this is probably one of the biggest lulls I've seen in ATS since um, since um, Washington came out. Chase, it actually could be could be pretty correct there. All right, so we got. Uh, let's see what we got next door to us. Is that Selena? <laughs> Thank you there, Ian. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> All right there, Keith. Have a good man. Fontana, appreciate it, man. Yes, sir, it is, Josh. This is brand new update, man. Brand new update. He's got it lowered and stretched and got a ton of new skins for it, man. It's really uh, it's a good package now, man. <laughs> Thank you there, Evan. Appreciate it, man. that one off there game and entertainment thank you there bud appreciate it man Scott, how are you, bud? Hey, he's catfishing. Hey there, bud. Appreciate it, man. I'll nah, be good, Evan. Hope you good. Uh, so I have no reshade, Saint. I have no reshade. This is all. This is all. This is all DX11 under the new update. I mean, I don't have anything. I don't even have graphic mods. I don't have anything in here, man. <laughs> no new truck, Scott. <laughs> Along you and ask with everybody else, man. No truck, man. No truck, unfortunately. Man, we, we can still hold out hope. We'll still hold out hope. Now, I will say for those that are curious about how the truck lights and stuff look so real, uh, part of that is because John Ruda does his own lighting mod to go with just his lights and reflections. Uh, but outside of the truck lights, everything else is is, um, is the game. Now, I would be nine. I pulled all mine out about six months, well, about three or four months ago. I uh, never looked back. I think it looks good now, man. Here we go. 
take our first uh get a little dark on us so once we get up here to um we got a 70 miles we'll we'll turn it back daylight again What's up, man? Judge, what's up? Do I think international? I think it eventually will. Um, as for when, uh, I don't know. I really don't. So we only got, uh, okay. This last little part here, actually. Let's just go and do it now. one all right about 50 miles here we'll uh what do you guys like do you like the inside and seeing some of this stuff go by you like the outdoor either one doesn't really doesn't really matter to me <laughs> not doing any work nick t not doing any work just playing games and driving fake trucks all day that that usually uh keeps the hands nice and silky smooth uh, I got you there. I figured it was, Ace. I figured it was, man. Hope you're doing well, man. Good to see some familiar names, man. We don't normally get to see since we're uh, usually streaming so late at night. It's good to see you guys during the day. Uh, so typically, the way you purchase these, uh, Nathaniel, if you ever wanted to jump into any of these type of uh, you know payware mods, um, typically Facebook pages are where guys do most of the uh, stuff. You just send them an, uh, you just send them a message and tell them that you're interested in the truck, and then they'll they'll give you all the details, how much it is. Um, and I'll be honest with you, man. Any of the guys that you see me do means that I support them, and I actually buy from, buy their stuff as well. Um, so I, I don't normally just put guys up here that just have something. Um, if I don't, if I don't have a good feeling about it, then I'm not going to send you guys to anybody that, um, I feel like might take your money in six months. I mean, some guys, uh, you never know what may happen, uh, computer issues or maybe some, you know, personal issues that may pull them back away from a modding game. But, um, you know, for the most part, man, I, I don't, I've never really, uh, sent anybody to anybody that I wouldn't buy for myself. So. What's up there, Dylan? Hey, yo, what's up, Seeger? Hope you're doing good, man. So this one comes from John Rudy. You can find him produced by John Rudy. You can also find me on Full Tilt Gaming on Facebook. Uh, I've linked my page to his. Uh, so you can find his page through mine, I believe. Uh, or you can just get on Facebook, search produced by John Ruda, R-U-D-A. And I've got any of his links in all of uh, the videos that feature these trucks. So what's up, gamer? How are you, man? Tower 401 Ladder, what's up? Hope you're doing good, man. Checking out a little Utah here early in the morning. I do like some of this. This right here looks really, really good through here. Hey, what's up there, Z71? Yeah, no, nah, it's not that good there, Nick. <laughs> I hear you man what you think there Z you like it it looks good um, I wish there was a few more connector roads you know between the main the main roads but um, you know maybe, maybe in due time they'll update some DLC I think we kind of said that in Oregon and by the next DLC they um all right, whatever. Let's 
79,018 pounds. Hey, what's up there, Winter Wolf? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was thinking that death, I just kept it to myself. I don't know when they all understand. Bulldog Gaming, what's up, worldwide? What's up, man? Hope you're doing good there, worldwide 007. Kenneth Whitney, what's up? Good to see you guys. If you're new, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe. Uh, we do predominantly ATS, although we are going to be bringing in a few new ones. I've, uh, uh, I've we've already, well, at least I've already started working on Farm Sim. So we'll bring some Farm Sim 19 because there's been a lot of guys have requested, hey, won't you shake it up with some of the other Sims? So, okay. So we're going to do a little Farm Sim. Come on, our Popo. Oh, come. Come on. And then we're also going to be bringing some ETS back to the mix. So, um,. We're trying to diversify a little bit. Um, so we'll be rolling some ETS. A lot of the guys had fun, man, in our ETS convoys. And you guys showed up, you watched. So um, I think we're going to try to do some more ETS whenever that new DLC rolls out as well. So I think it'll be good. Louis, what's up, man? Uh, Seeger, all I know, the last Truck Sim, all I know is that it's still in development. They just did not hit their their projected release goal dates. Um yeah, as far as I know, everything's still on is still on track to release it. I uh, just think that they've gotten extremely pushed back on things they wanted to implement, and I think they probably got a little bit of a rude awakening when people saw the videos, um, and that may have caused them to maybe think twice about what they were releasing. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to run over one of these cones and see if they're uh, if they're like you know concrete stakes in the middle of the road. Ah, what's up, Wonder? I know, man. Well, if I waited to just do my first one of the night, man, nobody would be like, yeah, I've already driven Utah. It's old news by now. Hey, when's Texas come out there, FTG? I was wondering. I live in Idaho, and I want to see that one come next. Yeah, Utah is old news, man. It's, it's 12 hours old. Hey, is multiplayer ready yet? Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Pretty much how it goes, man. <laughs> What's up, Johnny? How are you, buddy? <laughs> now I'm streaming on your time now, man. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. And I guess um, that's probably the one we should have got. I don't think we're going to make it. Let's try to back up. All right, there we go. All right, let's see where we're going with it. Of course, way back there. All right, I don't, well, we'll try. It'll be a little hard in the uh, stretched out Freightliner to get all the way back in there. I think I can barely get into the parking lot here. Yeah. You know, I think uh, East Coast states are probably going to have to wait until they actually figure out a way to get you to them. Um, they could offer a fast travel option. Uh, the only thing about doing a fast travel option is where do you start the fast travel option? Because you've got to be able to get people from point A to point B and it not be completely dumb. So I honestly don't think they're going to do East Coast without being connected to the Midwest. Assuming that people would at some point buy DLC along the way. Oh, there's no way I'm getting this thing all the way over there. I didn't realize they were going to have a... Okay, well, we'll just have to do the easy way on this one. I don't like to do the easies, but... No way I'm getting back in there with the trailer, too. All right, so let's see where... Uh, let's see where else we can get to from here. <clears throat> I 
All right, so we got Moab. Uh, so we just went through here. So we just uh, went down through Cedar City, uh, Provo, and then we came around to Price. So Moab would finish out at least this bottom hook, and then you've got a couple little outs here. It's probably this Provo over to, to uh, Vernell, or Vernol is probably a pretty good little trip. Um, and so we got about two pages of, all right, so let's do some veggies down. Let's go on down to Moab and then we'll see if we can't, uh, maybe we'll come back to price and maybe check out, uh, this one right here or even go up to Salt Lake. Let's see what we got. All right there, Winter Wolf. How good, man? Yeah, I would say Idaho, um, so people ask almost everyone, especially even after they found out that Utah was coming out. Uh, what do you think's next? So my my guess, I mean, this is a guess. I don't think they're going to do Texas right now without offering some of these other Midwest states. Um, so I almost, I almost think that they could do these three um, or at least do two of these together and then maybe couple, uh, what is this, Wyoming or Wyoming and Kansas together maybe. Maybe they could do these two, then you'd have the two Dakotas together. Um, so m maybe that would work. I don't exactly know, um, what, uh, you know, what would be a, um, a decent level, but I mean, I don't know. Nevada is pretty big, but it doesn't really have a ton of roadage. If you think about it, it's more mileage than it is roads. Now, once you get up into these, I mean, you could just see how much more detailed Washington and Seattle are, uh, from the, from the point of like roads. And even especially Utah is really good. Um, you can definitely tell the original map from your, um, from your newer stuff. Uh, just because of the complexity of the roads and interchanges and intersections. But I would almost guarantee that they would probably do two of these, if not all three of these in one big thing. Because Montana really itself is big, but it doesn't have a lot of secondary roads and it looks a lot of the same. So I think probably some of it's going to be what is the what is the community itself as a whole? What does the community itself want to see from the um, you know, from the perspective of Okay, do you want just mileage or do you want like seriously detailed, uh, you know, rolling hills of Montana? Um, how much detail do you want? How much industry do you want? All those kinds of things. And then how much all that's going to cost. And then you couple that with um, with Idaho and maybe uh, Wyoming. Um, could it work? I don't know. It could. I just don't know that they're going to do it that way. If they did, it would take a lot longer to do it. So it kind of knocks out your three states a year. It would be one DLC for the entire year, one big thing. And I don't know that people would necessarily like to drive all year long um, just to, I don't know. If, if So if it were me, I, I'm curious what you guys think. Would you guys wait a full year for a three-state release or would you rather have those three states, you know, boom, boom, boom? I mean, that, that, that would be the thing. At least if you had them in boom, 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 uh, it would kind of keep driving fresh. But think about Utah comes out now. Say you're not going to get another three-state DLC until December of next year. It's crazy to think. But I don't think they're going to do Texas yet. Yeah, we'll do it when we pick up, uh, we'll do it when we pick up this next one. Yeah, because I don't think they're going to go too far. Um... Since they did go in there and plop Utah in there, I don't think they're going to go too far down the development scale and, and go all the way down to Texas and knock that out. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> yeah, here there, Nick. <laughs> oh, city placement's all wrong. Um... Well, I think it's because it looks disproportionate because of the road network in Utah is actually a lot more complex, well, not complex, but you got a lot more roads in here than what you actually see. I think it kind of throws you off because you, you know, it's, um, it's like a map that's got four roads and all the cities are literally on all four roads. All right. Yeah, look at there, Sean Burke. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, we'll uh, I'll, we'll do the giveaway. You'll you'll have all the directions you need, man. 
all you guys gotta do is be here so what we'll do is we'll open it up for about 10 or 12 minutes and then we'll uh we'll blast it on down till we till we get to moab and then we'll go ahead and draw for our copy here um gotta be almost there try it again yeah there we go all right veggies down to moab Moob. Going to Moob. Thank you there, Kate and Goss. Appreciate it. And also to Elite Cobra Tyler. Thank you, man. All right. So we are. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, no, Vernon, uh, giveaway will be for anybody. Anybody can, can enter. All you got to do is be here, man. PA Farmer, thank you there, man. Appreciate that. Nice $5 super chat there. There's also something new Utah bro uh, YouTube rolled out. Uh, super stickers? I'm not sure what the super stickers are. Uh, something they rolled out, which... When I read it, I was like, oh, that seems kind of dumb. And I was like, but then again, what I think is dumb sometimes, everybody else is going to go crazy for them. Like, yeah, all right. Woo. So thank you there, Angel and AC Chevy, Chevy fan. Or Andrew. I like that. Or Andrew. <laughs> thank you, man. Appreciate that. New subs rolling in. Uh, and yes, it's John Rudy trailer there, Black. You are right. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, man. Yeah, so Nick, uh, I, uh, Nick's bringing up something I was going to plug here just uh, once we got this load picked up. So I'm not, I'm not going to jump into streaming on Facebook. Uh, not right now. Um, I barely have enough time to keep YouTube up for for right now. Um, but it seems to be that most of the ATS community ran off and left and went to Facebook. I don't know why. Uh, but a lot of them did. So uh, what I'm going to do is use Facebook, too, as an information hub and, and some of my more main mainstream social media market stuff. So if you guys want to see announcements on the channel, things that's going on in streams, um, and, uh, and I'll double that with my Twitter as well, but there's not a lot of ATS guys that follow Twitter. Uh, but yeah, you can find me there, and also I'll do some of the some of the uploads that I do on Facebook, or at least like for truck reviews and stuff for these guys, because they all have Facebook pages, so I'll be able to link our pages together, do the review videos for them, and then be able to put those down. So that way, it, it kind of doesn't always have to go link back to YouTube, but obviously it'll be better if you watch it on YouTube, because that's where it's actually monetized and not on Facebook. So anyway, just you know, keeping all those things in the you know in the back of your mind here. All right, so let me roll up. Uh, let's roll up our ch chat bot. Where is it at? There it is. All right, so we're going to run a giveaway here. So all you got to type in, you'll find out. It's going to open it up here. We're going to do for, uh, let's just do for 15 minutes. Uh, and this is for a free copy of uh, Utah DLC for American Truck Simulator. And by the way, this weekend is going to be a free uh, ATS weekend. So you can actually download and drive ATS for free this weekend too. So um that's pretty cool i don't know the last time they actually did that it's been quite some time so let's go ahead and open it up uh, running so there you go it'll actually type ftg utah to join all right i could do the commands because youtube flags every single one of them so all you got to do is type in or copy paste ftg utah you only have to do it once there's Jay, uh, Game Owns Elite. There's Andrew's Lady in the Beard, Matt, Angel. Yeah, you guys are all getting it in. Yep, there you go. Y'all can uh, probably see the... Uh... There you go. You can see y'all's names being added to the mix here. So, good deal. All right, so I'm going to let that run. So, you got about 14 minutes now. So, yep, there you go. Y'all keep it going. So, once we get to Moab, we will go ahead and... Um, once we get to Moab... We'll draw. And once you do it once, you don't have to do it. Uh, it should tell you, um, you know, in a main list of stuff in there. Indie Gaming, what's up, brother? How are you, man? Hope you're doing well, bud. So, we're going to be leaving from... 
Why did I get so dark all of a sudden? Good grief. Like it just got really cloudy outside. All right, let me fix that. Lord, I look terrible. <laughs> it's like, wow, FTG. You tan went away really fast, and it got dark in here. Almost like there's a storm blowing in. I'm actually going to have to turn on my front light here. Woo. It's kind of weird, honestly. All right, let me let me do a little fix in here. Yeah, you guys keep adding on in, FTG Utah. There you go. And mods, if you guys would mind every so again, let those guys know. Danielson. Thank you, man. Uh, let me let me fix this. Uh, yeah, let me fix the face cam there. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Hopefully that's a little better there. Mm. All right, I think that's it. There we got it. If you guys need anything, <laughs> let me know. I know how... Uh... I'd call the wife up and be like, hey, it says, uh, is everything all right outside? <laughs> I was not expecting that. All right, there we go. Oh, it is my airlines. Oh, I've got the other one. I've got the wrong chassis on here. Shoot. All right. Yeah, good call on that. Let me see where the... Um, I put the wrong chassis on this truck, I bet. This chassis has two different ones on his trailers you can do. I'll have to show you, but the truck, I didn't check on that. So good good catch on that, man. It's crazy, man. You can get away with nothing with you guys. Y'all are daggum like hawks on some prey in the middle of a... A field and I'm just standing by myself on the top of it. Never mind. Alright, let me see where the closest um see if we can stop off somewhere on the way down. I don't think there's anywhere in price, is there? I had a Kenworth dealer. There you go. Alright, we'll fix it. I'll show you guys a cool little uh cool little something something here. So there, Chalix. Oh wait, how are you, man? Uh yes, the giveaway will work with Steam and Steam only. Yeah, uh so I will uh, basically the way this works is you'll email me your steam profile with a picture send me a request and I'll double check that and then once it is I'll friend you up and then I'll gift a copy of Utah through steam we've had a couple of guys z71 uh, and I've forgotten the name uh, Shane Ramsey also they've gotten some some copies so I will spread those copies out over the next uh, mm -hmm. over this next weekend and so we'll have some opportunities to win some more uh, Utah not just today so Joe Chapman Studios, what's up, man? All right, well, thank you, buddy. Kevin Myers, what's up? Well, I think I said hey to you. Northeastern Gamer, what's up, buddy? Yeah, it's good to see you guys in today's streams. Kind of weird streaming during the day. I gotta, I gotta admit. Hey, what's up, Leonard? And if you've already entered once, it won't it won't allow you to it won't keep it won't keep pushing them back up again. <laughs> you need that one if I would give it away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, I'll talk to John and see the best way to do a giveaway with him. And uh, once Utah kind of gets out and his update for uh, his trailers is done, once he's got this uh, update for Freightliner just came out, so um, yeah, we'll see if we can't get a couple copies of that to give away, man. But you know, if you really need the giveaway, that's when you don't win it. <laughs> that's when, yeah, that's when you don't win it. All right, so we'll make a stop off here by the uh, Kenworth dealer, and we'll see if uh, we'll see if I've got the right uh, see if I've got the right chassis and trailer to fix this up. We 
clear it? I think we did. Yep, 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 yep. Sweet. They did not, Leonard. Um, we were kind of hoping that the International would make a, a or the Mac. Uh, that was the other one that would have been rumored since there was a Mac dealer in Anthem. I mean, uh, in Salem. Not the case, man. I, I don't. I don't know. Um, so there's the chassis. Let's see, because I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think it's uh, right here. Custom connectors. It's a question of do they put them down here? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look at this cool crap, man. All right. So once you buy the trailer with the under, the, this is John Ruta stuff. You got to make all the John Ruta stuff looks like this. But for the Kenworth, now the Freightliner and the Peterbilt 389, you can take them off the cab and put your stuff and put them right here under the bumper, which is that looks bad to the bone. I actually really do like that. So there you go. Good catch on that, man. That was a good catch. So now we can continue free of our OCD complexes about the airlines and uh, enjoy a little Utah. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, man, you 200 people, man, you guys be sure and like, be sure to enter up a giveaway or giving a free giveaway. But hey, if we can give away a free giveaway, uh, give away a free like or a free subscription. Join in what's going on, man. We do uh, usually nightly streams around um, around 10 o'clock. Um, and those can give or take a few depending on just what's going on. It's not my full-time job. I wish it was, uh, but I don't, I don't quite make enough money to make it a full-time. Trying to also keep track. The wife's got the kids, so shout out to my wife. Thank you there. What's up, Dwayne? I think she's watching one of them upstairs, so I can uh, so I can do a little stream in here. So thanks to special shout out to the wife. I don't know if she's watching or not. Uh yeah, no Simon. That's yeah, not going. Hey, hey, Ince, I, I am going to be purchasing uh, Road to the Black Sea, bud, and we're going to be doing some ETS streams with uh, with that DLC whenever it rolls out, man. I am super stoked about that one, actually, because it looks absolutely incredible. And we even got some guys, man, here on the, ETS, on the ATS side in our Discord server that have been won over completely on ETS. They love it. Uh, we actually did a little, uh, a little impromptu convoy uh, the other night. Had us about eight or ten guys there and did uh, did some ETS as well on the ProMod server. So and ProMods is is free too. So like it's like huge. You get the whole continent of Europe for free. All you got to do is own the game and a few DLC. You have to own some DLC. I don't, Leonard. I don't. I, I would venture to probably be within the next month. I'd say it'll be a December release. Whoa. Thank you. Hey, there you go, White Bear. I hear you, man. We just about took out that guy. And too, if you're new, man, we're also gonna be rolling uh, some farm sim. We'll also be rolling um, ETS and and uh, ATS. So, you know, we we kind of got a we kind of got some busy ideas, but I th I think they're going to be good, man. I think you guys are gonna enjoy them. We almost died. Almost. We're good though. <laughs> Uh, so secret this bud box is I believe it's three I believe it's well depending on how you get it customized if you choose not to do a lot of customization to it I think bone sockets 250 um, and then I have a coupon in the description FTG 10 I mean a full tilt 10 if you look down the description you can see where you can buy this box but also uh, where to grab that coupon if you enter that coupon into checkout it basically gives you 30 bucks 10% uh, off the purchase so you either get, uh, yeah, you get, if you if you do the full deal, it's, it's 30. Because I think if you did all, all customizations on the box, I think it gives you a 300 is what the final price is. And then that gives you 30 bucks off of it. So it basically means that you can get all of your customizations and stuff kind of as free as the, the bare bone box. So if you ask, well, is it worth it? Would you do it? The, the difference is no one else has a button box like this. It's already labeled. It's already wired. It's already done. And it does come with a working CB mic. Like mine works on Trucker's MP. Which is pretty awesome. So, anyway. It's that bad a pair of scissors. That's right. 
get him a pair of scissors. 300 bits. I was like a dollar seventy-five. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. Well, that's the good thing about it being a. Uh, good thing about it being a sim. Background, what's up, man? That's good, man. You got a couple different. Uh, got a couple of different um, faceplates. You can interchange them. Faceplates are, I think, actually pretty cheap. But it's all printed in there, and um, yeah, it's all right, man. I like it for the CB. If anything, for the CB alone, it's pretty good. All right, so we're on our way to Moab. Uh, we've got a load of veggies here, so. <clears throat> So also we'll name it. Uh, we'll name the winner once we get to Moab, which is in 67 miles or whatever, uh, whatever time we time frame we get there. Get the wheel that I've got on my Amazon link, uh, Amazon affiliate link. So you can see that in the description. Or if you guys go to full tilled dot full tilled gaming dot live, that is my new kind of website to kind of house all of my stuff. So. You can see the button box. You can see the website there. Uh, you can see my rig that I'm sitting in. Also see basically everything that I've got down there, who I work with sponsor-wise, Thrustmaster, uh, partnered sponsor through Thrustmaster. Um, the only thing that I have not gotten yet, I do have my computer rig specs down there, but I do not have uh, all of my screens and my other little odds and ends that make the setup complete. Um, like a lot of the rig stuff plus the seat and I don't have a lot of that stuff on there So that's the last thing I really got to do for that's complete, but there you go But dropped you up dropped you a, a link in there to it and you can watch this stream You can donate from there. You can chat from there. Um, it's pretty cool. I, I, I do actually like it All right, so here we are He's junction on the Savvy. So this is a uh, this is generally considered a lot flatter than I anticipated Utah being, to be honest with you. Matt Nesser, what's up, man? And if you've already entered on the uh, on the on the giveaway, uh, you guys are if you've already entered in it, and you already see your name coming that you've entered the giveaway, then you're good. You don't have to keep doing it, and it'll actually tell us when the time runs out. So. Yeah, it is beautiful. Uh, just a lot flatter than I assumed it would be. We're driving a Freightliner uh, Classic XL there for Mr. John Root. A brand new update, so we'll do we'll do some more um, a ride along or a build and drive type video for this one because it's worth it. It's got a nice 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 update to this one, man. looks like we got a uh, gas station stuff off to the left there I know Kevin well th honestly this one's the probably the t one of the toughest ones I have because each gear is different you know some are 400 rpm between gears some are 250 some are 500 and they, they change they're not all the same and they don't step either Give you no leeway on slides slipping into gears on this. Thank you there, John. Appreciate the sub, man. All right, entry to the stop. All right, so entry stop. So we're, it's perfect. So we're 20 miles here from Moab. So once we hit Moab, yeah, I don't have time to double clutch. I just now got good at, at, uh, at floating the gears without pushing the clutch down. <laughs> All right, so let me, let me get you outside. We'll see a little bit of Moab here. All right, there you go. You saw it. Paleo Aquarium, Gateway Theater. It's kind of weird. It's all out, just kind of put out there in the dirt.
I, w I will say, like, this picture right here of this panoramic shot of seeing all of this is pretty cool. You guys are only seeing the center part of the screen here, but, um, yeah, this is pretty incredible. Colorado River looks really good. For a copy of ATS for a giveaway. Well, thank you there, man. I'll write that in, dude. Maybe, maybe tonight, White Bear, we can do a copy of ETS because it is on sale right now. Which, if you have not gotten that on sale, grab it now. So we'll do a copy of uh, we'll do a copy of uh, Utah, and then we'll also do um, we'll do a copy of Utah and a copy of ATS. You have a chance to win both if you have neither. So, yeah. What's up there, Max? Well, thank you, man. Whoops. Yeah, so we'll come without that with what Shane dropped in the hat there. So that'd be awesome, man. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. So this is not the M11. This is the uh, Cat C15-550. I guess the straight pipe diversion. So I'm also going to pull. I'm going to hop in here. We'll get out of the reefer game here. We'll pull um, something else you guys might want to see. I'll let you guys look through at least what trailers I got fixed up for right now. Or we can actually pull one of the. Um, actually, pull one of the uh, ones for SES. Yeah, we'll, we'll pull in the easy way here since I don't know how much room we're going to have here in the back. All right. All right, man. We'll come hang out with us tonight. Well, we get try to get going around 10 o'clock. I don't see why I won't be able to do that, but um, what's that good old saying? Sub subject to change. Uh, the horn's pretty regular. And that's from the sounds and fix pack. I don't think that's the horn that actually comes in the truck. I think my sound pack just overwrites it. All right. Everything off. There we go. Another successful delivery. Um, she might even be able to. I don't know. Um, let's see what we got. Moab. So what you guys want to see? Y'all actually could drive a new truck if you guys want to see a new truck. Um, I've got John Ruda's W900. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. I do have his 900 in here, um, which was. Um, uh oh, I may not. I may have just crashed the game. Nope. Shoo. So I've got that one as well. We also have the uh, Vipers 389. We got the Peterbilt 359 from RTA. International LT, which is kind of a, man, we probably won't do that one. Um, yeah, uh, so we can do a new truck. We do a new truck and trailer. Let me know what you want to see. And while you're doing that, I'm going to try to keep up with you both here. And then let me uh, let me go ahead and pull up. Which 389? I've got two. Flatbed with 389, Pete. Which one, Vipers or John's? Whoops, wrong one. Can my Steam game work without Steam or internet connection? Uh, it's sh well, it's your Steam game is not gonna work without Steam. Uh, it should work without internet connection. John Street and nine. <laughs> I think y'all literally y'all guessed a, a lot of different stuff. Might have to open up a poll here and have y'all vote. <laughs> What's up, they're gonna? <laughs> uh, we're doing a giveaway now, so we got actually a we got a slew of names in here. So, hi right, there, Wonder. Georgia wants the three fifty nine. We got well, quite a few Vipers, which I assumed would probably be the winner. Uh, all right, we'll see what we got. All right, here we go. We're gonna pick a winner. And this is crossing your fingers. That's right. Cross your fingers. You can win this free copy of Utah DLC. I'm going to drop my drink in the fold there. All right. So here we go. Picking a winner. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go let us know in chat who it is. Hopefully this works right this time. So let's see what happens. Here you go. And the winner is Ryder Laplante. Is that right? Or Laplante? 
You have won, so speak up in chat if you uh if you are here, man. Congratulations if you're here. But he's gotta speak up. If he's not here, then I'll redraw it. Oh, you wanna buy the 359? Okay, I got you, man. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Ryder. You want it, man. Um, so email me uh here at uh ftg at uh full tilled gaming dot l i v e all right there you go email me right there that's an email address it's going to link back to my normal business one um but that's through my new site there so there you go email me there what i want you to do send me your friend request i'm ftg find me full tilled gaming um send me your friend request and then tell me what your your steam name is and just maybe take a little snapshot of your profile picture so that I know it's you. Cause a lot of people in these will send me, Hey, I'm the winner. Da, 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 da. Here's my yada, da, 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 da. Here's my profile. And then I'm like, yeah, no, you're not the same guy. So just do that. Send me your friend request. Tell me what your steam name is, your profile picture is, and then I will friend you and I'll get to you through steam. So congrats there, buddy. So there's our, uh, our Utah winner. <laughs> All right, so uh, if we've got, uh, let's see. And by the way, well, no, no, no. Let's, I don't want to start that one up yet. All right, so let's do this. Um, so we've got the Kenworth 900. You guys said, let me let me make sure all these will um, actually work. So here is uh, Vipers. This is what we had. That's a good one right there. Think of there. Is that F-E-W-Q? Not dumb. <laughs> Been around this game long enough. Go Volvo. If I had Aerodes in there, I would, man. I don't I don't have Aeros in there. Um Yes, I do want to cancel. All right, so I've got... All right, let me show you what I've got here, and then we'll, we'll get trucking out of Moab. So here's one that I've got here. This is uh, this is John Rudis 389. Um, yeah, so this one's a pretty decent one. People like this one. This is, this is another one of those. Um, but it's lowered. So that's John Rudis 389. It's pretty awesome on the interior, too, as well. It's pretty slick. So we've got that one. And then we've got, uh, well, you saw the rest of them. And then we've got the Kenworth 900. So now I did the 359. And we can do the 359. So let me do this. Uh, put a one in chat. And we're trying to do this right. Do a one in chat if you want to uh, see the Peterbilt 359. And that's this one right here. Put a two in chat if you want to see John Ruta's 389. Put a three in chat if you want to see vipers and then put a four if you want to see the kw 900 y'all get those thank you there you warning appreciate it man all right mods y'all try to try to count these up for me so whoever gets the most to where it'll typically start seeing the same numbers kind of flying through as well i'm seeing a lot of ones and threes which ones with the 359 and then vipers 389 In ones, <laughs> you can't multiple do them there, Caden. <laughs> yeah, a lot of threes. What's up, Kenny? How are you, buddy? Well, ones and threes are pretty much it. Now, what was threes? It was Vipers 389, wasn't it? <laughs> Go Vipers. I don't want to see anything else but Vipers. <sighs> All right. That's what we have to drive. That's what we have to drive. All right, so I'll I'll at least uh, I'll at least change the wheel so it doesn't look too uh, too much the same. Let's uh, let's throw the other paint job in there. We'll throw another. Let's throw a let's throw a midnight uh, midnight blue on there. All right, will that work for you guys? 
How's F S nineteen? Is good, man. It's kind of funny. This is this truck literally looks uh, pretty identical to what we just got out of. <laughs> well, let's at least put some different wheels on it. All right. Now, I know we're gonna put the Kenworth wheels on there. I don't know how they come up with the those are Kenworth wheels, but anyway, we'll we'll throw these on there just for a change of pace. I like the low riders. I just have to get over it. And we're stretched on this one too. So, yay ha! This ought to be this ought to be fun. Ooh, dash is a little dark. Let's do the uh, carbon. Well, they got black wood, black paint. Paint's gonna be the blue anyway. I do like the old school dash. Yeah. All right. Let's just do. Uh, yeah, let's do the metal for right now. Let's see what we got, man. Uh, yes, it is running. <laughs> All right, so we'll drive this. We'll have to actually transport back to Moab, and then we'll uh, we'll grab us a trailer. Shall I do a flatbed? I think it's what I saw. Flatbed seemed to be a pretty popular choice. So we'll do a flatbed out of Moab. Yeah, because we're back in Vegas. All right, so let's go to Moab. And then we will... Let everything load in. There we go. All right, so we got the eddies. All right, here you go. Let's just put ourselves down here. All right, so there's the. Uh, there you go. This actually looks really good. And let's go ahead and add us a trailer in here. So I've got a couple. Um, so we want to do the flatbed. So I've got, uh, we've got the, the bulk feed, the grain hopper. These were all default trailers here. And then we've got the flatbed, which is what you guys, um, said you wanted to do. So we can do flatbeds on this. Uh, so nice devil. You probably hit the stream boss behind. You were one of the ones because, um, so the way the rank, the rankings work is stream boss is guys that donate money during the stream or they sponsor. So if they sponsored, then you probably got stream boss because you, um, something we used to do but anyway you got it okay yeah i don't normally just give it out just randomly so yeah you earned it uh yes Kate, and this will probably be uploaded if not just give it a few minutes and it should upload for you um so this is another one of john ruda's trailers actually the flatbed here is part of his uh usa trailer pack which i think is like 15 bucks or 10 bucks for all three trailers and that does come with the reefer you just saw um this one does have the funky hookups but since we're on regular truck here it's not going to show up that way so um, so pretty much everything on this one's already done because I've already, yeah. So we got super singles on here, so we'll confirm that, and let's go ahead and use it, and let's go ahead and pick us out a load. Uh, Eric, I, I don't know, man. Uh, it's it's always been a build, man. I've never really sat around and calculated up everything, but through a little bit of a you know research based on a computer that you'd need to buy versus what some of this stuff costs, you could get a decent idea. I mean, you know, three TVs, they're nothing like hugely special. So, um, yeah, make sure that'll work. All right, let's pick this out something, but typically I don't, I don't talk about it cause I just don't want people to assume that I'm just, you know, bragging about it and being a douche about it. So, um, all right, so let's try if we can, I'm going to see if we can't go, uh, let's see, that brings us back to Selena. Of course, we don't have that. We got marble slabs of Selena. So, oh, Salt Lake City. So let's go to, uh, let's see if we can't move up to Salt Lake City. Oh, there it is. There we go. That's the one I wanted to get to. Um, so we got iron. Actually, we got all of these. So we've got um, concrete tubes. We've got uh, iron pipes, which is a pretty cool looking load. Concrete blocks are pretty cool. Let's do the blocks because I have not done that one on a stream yet. So concrete blocks it is out of Moab. Um, I think that's actually the same sound. Y'all want to do the, uh, y'all want to do the other, um, I think that's the sound we just literally got out. Let me change the sound of this. Y'all guys probably want the M14. Y'all always ask him for the M14. Yeah, it's the C15. Uh, the M14 chipped. I think it's what you guys always want. 
So I don't really care, but y'all like it. This is the one with the crappy Jake break. How could y'all lead me wrong, guys? the crappy patty jake break <laughs> yeah man it's a, it's a terrible one hey what's up there chris ellis how are you man oops we should have gone the other way too bad it's up there with the isx comans i thought this was the uh the chipped version down on the bottom dang it all right well maybe we'll stop by on the way back So we're going to have to back up into our uh, little humble abode there. Oh, on ETS, but I am too, man. I love it. We don't stream it a lot on the channel, um, but that's going to change. Oh, thank you there, Chris. Oh, it sounds good on the outside, just trashy on the inside. Thank you there, Guardian Wolf. Appreciate it, man. All right, so go ahead and let's pick up uh, concrete. There we go, concrete up to, uh, these are like those road bollard blocks. Going up there to, uh, is it Vernal or Vernal? Hey, what's up there, Trucker Mandy? What's up there, Mark? Good to see you guys. And anybody else out there in uh, ATS land watching on stream, appreciate you guys coming and checking out Full Tilt Gaming here on YouTube. Normally, are streaming here later at night about 10, but uh, the wife is hooking me up here, allowing me to do a little streaming here for you guys. And since Utah just dropped the day, a little special occasion. So, thanks to her. So we'll probably do this last load. This will be a good a good first run here with it. So you guys show back up tonight. We're going to have another copy of ATS to give away, uh, as well as uh, maybe another one or two copies of Utah. One of the two. I'll have to give them all the way there. Aaron Lathan there. Appreciate it, man. Uh, so my, I don't seem code. I don't know, Ryder. I have to, I have to go look at it, man. Um, if anything, man, if you'll send me yours, uh, that'd be good enough. But you should be able to find me as Full Tilt Gaming. There's there's not many Full Tilt Gamings. Thank you there, Rat Shark. Appreciate it, man. I've had some donations come through as well today, so thank you there to Cable Way, Anthony Krakowski, PA Farmer, White Bear. Thank you, guys. I think uh, this is all my supporter text is running down on the bottom. I'm about to say, I do have... Uh, do you have y'all's names to run through there? All right. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? All right, so here we go on our way up. So it's a little bit of a trip here. Let's show you, show you the load here. Probably some of the most detailed strapping I've ever seen on a trailer.
and this trailer does come with its own wheel set so you can actually use these wheels on any trailer you got which is kind of cool i actually like that part of it probably the most Too far, Nick. Too far. <laughs> Guys, there's things saying about the truck game. Yeah, man. It's good stuff, man. And we are low and flat tonight. Low and flat. I'm trying to turn all my sensitivity on my wheel as things actually bumping up and down. Wish the inside sounded like that. So the interior. <laughs> what, is, what is that, man? All right, so I'm just going to I'm going to jet back over here to the store just to make sure that that's the uh, not the only one that that I have access to. <laughs> All right there. Thank you, Ryder. I'll look for it, man. Just send me what your picture is, man. I'll, I'll look for you. Send me your steam code as well. Well, for 300 bits, I'll go get some dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do with them. <laughs> All right, let's get there. I'm gonna look at the, I'm gonna look at this. Uh, I'm gonna look at this engine set because I feel like I've gotten the wrong one. Maybe, maybe I haven't. Maybe I didn't, but it feels like I did. All right, so. He said it was up here with the ISXs, but which one? Uh, is it this one right here, the N14? Uh, where'd it go? This one right here, the 600 chip? That's it, ain't it? That one's, that's it. That one's it, I bet you. Well, you know how that is, Bob. You wouldn't have won. Come on, man. You know how it is. Uh, big fan from South Africa. Welcome to you, man. There we go. There we are. I'd right there rip your throat out. All right, trucker man, he's a real trucker, so uh, I'm, I will uh, assume to get graded. Of course, I actually would take that better than half the guys in here that say that you know how to truck. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do there, Nick. You do like that. Well, hummus a bar too there, Nick. Gerald, what's up, what's up, what's up? Just throw that in your email, Ryder. Be fine. Or you can re-email it. It's fine. What's up there, Tim Bot? How are you, man? So I'm from North Carolina. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Gotcha. was going for it. Oh, that's right. I knew George Trucker was. All right. 
so we will be uh, leaving Moab. We'll be seeing the first part here. At least up until price, and then all that after price will be uh, will be brand new stuff. All right, so leave them no ad there. I love them, man. Dude, I like them, dude. All, all of the ETS stuff, man, that I used to drive, man. Well, I say used to, but you know, all that stuff that I drive, I, I like all those trucks, man. My favorite, at least through ETS2, is probably the Scania Next Gen, but uh, kind of becoming a fan of that Renault Range T. It's a nice one. But I don't care, man. I, I just like the exploration. I like the driving part. I don't care what truck it comes in. If someone said, hey, name your favorite truck, I, I don't know. <laughs> I've got something that I do like favor the other, but I'll pretty much drive them all. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, Stan. Yeah, see, I couldn't do that. This car, look, oh, I thought she was going to make it. I think that died. Whoops. Uh, we play multiplayer every Saturday night. So whenever this one actually, oh, we're going to go down here. Let's grab some fuel. Grab some fuel here in our uh, last run here. Thank you there, man. 12 bucks there. Is that for uh oh for a Utah giveaway? Well, thank you there, man. Appreciate that, Kenny. All right, so we, we're gonna have to spread some giveaways out here. We might have a couple to give away tonight. Hey, Shane's throwing a few in a pot. I know uh, Z71 gave one our last live stream. So there's that we got a free uh ATS copies coming up this uh tonight plus Utah again tonight. So more chances to win. That's all by these guys, man. It's uh a big load of support for my regulars, uh, Kenny and Z71, Shane, all those guys have been sponsoring, uh, and they've uh, been adding their uh, presence on the Discord as well through stream, um, through streaming, through uh, our multiplayer stuff on the weekend. So we do uh, normally something every single Saturday night. We probably won't do this one unless, for some odd reason, Truckers MP gets on the ball and gets 1.36 because they're going to have to update Truckers MP with DX11. Um, and their graphics for DX11, and then also they're going to have to update the new map. So yeah, they've got they've got their uh, hands full here to get things done by this weekend. But um, not that it's not impossible; it just probably is not probable. So we'll see what happens there. <laughs> there you go, Alex. <laughs> <coughs> and I saw the sound master, Mr. Captain uh, Kreikbum. Uh, I saw that he is uh, updating the range T sounds. Okay. Oh, I don't know how we made that. <laughs> uh, I would love to modern, but eventually people would get tired of listening to this kid scream in the background. Or my wife at this point, so... So, yeah. All right, let's swing out wide here. Take out a few tree limbs as we go, and we'll just roll right over that sedan. They should have pulled up there. It's all right. Actually, pretty funny. Yeah, I don't. Well, I guess you can do that now, but yeah, I will not be going back to 135 to DX9 uh, to play Trucker's MP. Not when all this is out. You, you'll have the next seven months to play um, to play Trucker's MP before the next thing comes out. <laughs> What's up there, Todd Harrison? How are you, bud? Uh, it is good, Alex. It really is good. Hey, Paul Mullins. Dang, man. Thank you there, bud. 
Paul Mullins dropping a big 20 in chat. Do you think Truckers MP will ever allow trucks like the one you're driving in their game? Keep up the good work. Um, man, that's awesome, dude. Thank you there, Paul. Appreciate it. Uh, so here's my thought on it. I have no insight to this at all. Um, here is my viewpoint on that. If they did allow a modded truck in like this, it would have to be a truck that is comparable to SCS's guidelines for their default trucks. Um, both, you know, I, if they were to add something in, which I don't know that they ever could, I'm sure they've probably thought about it, but if you can imagine being in a 40 truck convoy and all you see are 40 and your, your uh, computer has to draw in 40 uh, Viper 389s, son, it's gonna be one frame a second for as long as you're in the route. So uh, the thing about it is I would imagine if they were able to do it on Trucker's MP, it's gonna have to be optimized and probably is gonna have to be stripped down quite a bit. Um, the sounds to me are, would be the more important thing. Like I would even love Trucker's MP more if they would update the sounds. So if our sounds got a nice uh, a nice swift kick in the pants and you were able to, to use this sound pack, even with the, the general 389, I think it would actually be really good. Um, but uh, you know, again, man, it's all speculation. Uh, I have no idea if they would ever even have any inclination to do that, but it would be sweet. Um, even to offer maybe just one or two mods, um, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, who knows. What's up, Jared Steele? All right, so we had someone, uh, did someone join in? Oh, we got Paul's in there. Okay, I thought someone subbed, that was Paul's thing. <laughs> yeah, it would run, it would run slow with mine, bud. So here's what I'm noticing so far about eight, uh, about uh, our Utah here. Uh, Freightliner Peter, what's up, buddy? Um, I'm noticing a lot of uh, secondary backdrop scenery issues. Uh, not scenery issues, but scenery stuff. Very, very nice. Um, there's not really any kind of crazy like bridges and landmarks besides the Hoover Dam in Utah. Uh, Moab was pretty, yeah. It was pretty, uh, pretty lackluster. Um, we have not gotten to the sections where the best rocks and stuff are. That's up more closer to Salt Lake, which is we'll save that. We'll do that tonight. Um, the scenery is still good. You are exactly right. Um, scenery is still good, but it's a lot of uh, secondary backdrop scenery. So if you've been looking for the depth in ATS that you've been missing over the past, you know, say Arizona is just flat. There's nothing really there. Even Washington, Oregon, you do get some backdrop scenery, but not a lot because there's so many trees, the cities are there. There's a lot of things going on that you don't really necessarily, you know, you don't really, you don't have time to really focus in on some of that. Um, Utah for one has got a very robust uh, secondary scenery. So all of these little props and all of these backdrops to all of these nice little places you're driving through, actually really well done and it looks, it looks legit. It looks like it's distanced enough to where it doesn't look tiny, but it's not overdone to where it looks huge and it looks completely out of place. You know, kind of like this charged Best Buy right by the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, but it's on this, I think it's on the street that is connected to Utah DLC. Well, if it is, maybe it's not the Hoover one. Maybe they've got a different one in Utah that separates the Colorado River because um, I know their uh, asset sheet that they sent me out, they sent me pictures of it. Yeah, Mark, anybody can email me, man. Email's fine. You can do it at the FTG uh, at uh, fulltiltgaming.live. You can do that one, or that's probably the best one, man. Oh, Station Wagon's coming over, Chevy Chase. Now, yeah, some of you may be too young for Chevy Chase. I'll hold that reference. So for guys that may be new that have no idea who I am, uh, just real quick, streaming ATS and also we'll start ETS and also Farming Simulator 19. So we'll do some series, also some live streams. So we'll be using this setup um, for uh, for some of that as well. So it should be uh, should be nice. Thank you there, Yang. Appreciate the sub, man. And uh, also we'll be looking at, um, I guess, 
I'm trying to think. There, there may be some room inside some some new games if they come out. There were some kind of cool uh, storyline pro game uh, pro games that were going to kind of spark my interest, but they've not really released anything. So I don't want to say I'm yeah I'm gonna be playing this and this and this because I have no idea when they're gonna come out. Um, so we got those those couple of things on as well. Saturday nights is a big convoy. So if you're an ATS fan, you want to have a big crew. We usually have anywhere between 25 and 45 trucks uh, convoy with us uh, on a Saturday night through uh, Truckers MP. So it's pretty cool. And Bozo, thank you there. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the sub. Um, let's try to think what else. Oh, yeah. And top of the description, anything in that description is actually, if you guys want to know, uh, Twitter as well as uh, we've got Facebook as well, Full Tilt Gaming there. You can find me on there. Uh, Full Tilt at uh, on this, my uh, handle for Twitter. And I'm trying to think anything else. Full Tilt Gaming Live is actually something I want you guys to check out because I think it might be something that would interest you. Uh, I've got a few things left to, to, to uh, finalize on that, but um, over and all, that's, uh, you pretty much find anything about the setup you want to find, my computer system specs, all that, um, and then I'm working on getting the rest of the stuff in there. So anyway, a little, a little about me. Oh! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You might need her uh, uh, her approval on that that before you tell people you're going to offer it there, Nick. <laughs> He's like, uh, oh yeah. And call random fans. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Yeah, daily sketch. Yeah, no, we we had planned on doing that one. Uh, don't know when it's gonna when it's gonna happen. Now this right here, I like this man. This is this is nice. Yeah, I guess, I guess you... Appreciate that. Yeah, I accidentally closed the stream down and it does go away. Whoops. <laughs> Z71 was like, what? <laughs> yes, it will be soon. I actually have a 20 person server, so I'm contemplating open up a save game that um that'll be separate from our live stream stuff but one that you guys will be able to log on uh and play with there on the server that uh you know catch me some of the uh, some of the other guys in there but it'll be a free 20 person a really super nice server provided by Natrado um that you guys will be able to participate in uh so the john Ruta, this is not the tracker so this is uh this is still vipers uh 389 but yes the the, the tracker is that one you're all right there star child on that one Man, I did it again. Did it again. All right. I just want to see a little bit of the sunset, uh, especially as we go, because this is kind of where DX11 really shines. Sunrise and sunsets are so pretty now, colorful. And I don't have any graphics mods. I don't have reshade. I don't have anything on. So what you're seeing, it is ATS in its bare bone graphics form. Nobody's coming the other way. Yeah, you should be all right on that, Nick. You probably can at least you can at least bust high graphics. Fly there, Javier, man. Man, you go get fit there, Freightliner. Boop. 
That's a uh, interesting, uh, interesting choice of words there, Tanner. I'll assume my truck should make it a compliment that it uh, sounds delicious. GPC Logan Logan All right, here we go. So this is all gonna be new road here. So we'll see uh, this this uh, actually looked a little bit more exciting So we'll see Oh, that was a cop that passed me on the uh, no passing zone uh, So we've been serious with YouTube for a little over a year about a year and a half uh, when I first kind of started out, it was just, you know, do some videos here or there. It wasn't, uh, most of these sims had not completely taken off. Um, so, most of the, they had not taken off. So, we kind of just were, you know, a few here and there, especially streamers for ATS. You had a couple of guys that were just rocking everything. Uh, then computers, the software, everything else became a lot more widely available. And then, boom, it happened. So, I kind of jumped in the game about a, a, I'd say about a year and a half seriously, man. And thank you there, sick shot. Appreciate that, man. And Funny Farm Gaming, yes sir it is, Vipers 389. And a wonderful skin by Mr. Clunk himself, the Grand Master of 389 skins. <laughs> Tanner Reynolds, thank you there, man. Appreciate the sub. Yeah, he does, uh, man, Clunk does some absolute ridiculously crazy stuff, man. Really good. We're gonna need, uh, Mega Daylight. Unless you guys want to ride in the dark, which I assume nobody wants to do. You know, it's, uh, it's funny, though, Nick. We do know quite a few streamers that would actually stream a Utah DLC and do a giveaway in the dark. Hey, guys, check out the beautiful scenery. It's brighter in their uh, camera than it actually is in the in the game. <laughs> yeah, the eye flop, I know, man. Yeah, we're the M14s while we're running here, funny form. Does look pretty. <laughs> the one dislike. <laughs> eh. Actually, if it's just one, man, we're doing all right. <laughs> Let's see if we do this all right here. that didn't boom didn't even have to pause it just like that you get to see a sunrise <laughs> more options your setup is cool where I am this type of setup is cheap funny uh, so if, if mine's not if I don't think you meant mine was um, but uh, I've actually run the sim lab for the triple monitors because about the only ones that can hold three 40 inch TVs. Um, Simitech is out of Portugal, man. And um, most of the, the channel on this is anywhere from a half inch to three eighths inch uh, gauge. And it's it's pretty much mapped for everything. Some of the best stuff that I've done consider the price point. The only, the only price point that gets people off is the fact that you have to buy your own seat. So if you're frugal and you can actually go to a junkyard and grab a seat, then you can install a truck seat right on top of it if that's what you wanted to do. If you wanted to do a racing seat, well, that's just an extra added expense that you have to add into it. But um, at the end of the day, man, I mean, you know, this is actually a very ergonomical uh, design. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty decent setup when it comes to what you can hook to it, what you can use it for. I use it for rally because um, I love rally uh, racing. And so um, uh, any of that, any of that kind of the racing Le Mans series road course type stuff, I love it. Got a couple of uh, Thrustmaster wheels that I use with it, and um, and this this rig does great, man. I've even got it on sliders as well, so I can adjust uh, depending on what I want to do. It's nice.
Uh, XB's the auto car. I have not, Shane. I have not, man. It, it actually is, Maxwell. It, it really is. Um, it, it's not too bad on one monitor. Once you get into pushing more than one, it absolutely does. CPU, it doesn't take anything to run this game. It's, everything in this game is all in the GPU. But some games are like that, some 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 really aren't, so. You know what, Ryder? Jeff Fabiano came in and hung out with us. Uh, it was a, a while back. It was probably, I think it was like maybe two or three live streams ago. There goes one of those frack tanks. Um, he came in and that was what we were actually talking about Truckers MP. He was, he was trying to wait and see if they did the traffic update with it. But um, yeah, I'd love to, man. I don't, I don't know if he will or not, but hopefully there'll be a, a collab in the future, man. I, I like Jeff. I always liked his X Plane stuff. That was what I, I was a big fan of. Because I, I liked, uh, uh, I did some X Plane and actually got some pretty nice stuff to do it. I just don't have anybody to watch it. <laughs> So it makes a lot of time and money getting the setup and doing all the stuff with Flight Sim and then it, nobody wants to see any of it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, Nick. No, I don't know. Uh, RAM, I think I'm just in, uh, I think I'm 32 gig. I do have, if you go to fulltiltgaming.live, that top link, click it in the description. It will, uh, it will, I do have all of my computer specs on the bottom left, so. All right, so these will be our um, last ones going into the uh, this is the east side of Utah. So we still have the upper part of Utah as well as ooh, I like this, uh, this little side sideline pull off here. It's kind of nice. Oh yeah, more options. Yeah, well, our, our Discord stuff's free, man. We don't, I don't charge for anything. <clears throat> yeah, I'm charged for that. DeAndre, thank you very much. Appreciate the sub, man. Yeah, I know it's for it. It actually was. I, I rolled with that G29, man, for a while, and it was, it was a, it was a fine wheel, man. It was fine, but I did want to, I, I did want to upgrade into my rally setup as well which is when i got the sequential shifter and then uh partnership through thrustmaster got me the handbrake and got me the ferrari wheel and a few other little goodies so um th this kind of just and i decided to buy the uh the base and stuff that was really more of less with racing in mind Well, this has actually been a fun little uh, delivery, man. I like this. Gotta go all the way around. So you can find that on my Amazon link. It's from um, from Simi Shift, which is down in South Carolina. They do actually do like real life uh, trucking. They re they do like real life trucking apparatus stuff for training and for um, like different truck driver test simulators and stuff. Um, so I got it from them. It's kind of a hybrid. It it kind of really looks kind of like an ETS one, but it does serve the same 
uh, for ATS because at the time when I bought it there wasn't very many options and most of the options uh, most of the guys were basically taking money not keeping up with their uh, customers and that kind of stuff so I, I got burned once and decided not to go back so I'm probably going to hit Southern uh, Trucker Southern Trucker Gaming up on Facebook and I'm probably going to get a, a shift knob from him in, in some months to go but this one's it's not broke so I'm not going to fix it right yet I'll, I'll keep it oh look at there what do you know yeah once you join the discord you'll probably wish you hadn't <laughs> uh well it's not semi take it's semi shift it's uh sim the letter u shift and you can also find that this exact one that i have with the jake break um you can find that this exact knob right here um you can find that on my amazon affiliate link so either either way you'll find it there all right so there we go all right well that's perfect man that was uh i'm gonna have to run uh on this one because i know i've got uh i know the wife's gonna be needing to do some things and we'll need to get the kids and do suppers and all that good stuff so um but anyway uh thank you guys for coming out thanks for the new subs uh hope you guys enjoy the channel hope you guys are able to plug in with us as well um so we're gonna have a couple things tonight so we're gonna have the uh we'll have a, get, a giveaway there for um utah as well have probably have maybe two copies of that uh and then we'll also have a giveaway for uh ats so if you don't have that we'll have chances for you to win both tonight um, and at some point tonight, I'll probably um, do a giveaway for most of our um, our upper level guys. So it'll, it'll cost some points to join into the to the giveaway later on tonight. Um, and I may do a combo gift with ATS and Utah for one of our sponsors, maybe that doesn't have either or, which there are a few out there. So anyway, uh, not really not enough about that. I'll figure out what we're going to do. But anyway, maybe a good place for you guys to spend some points that you guys have been uh, getting from the uh, tarmac. So. Uh, and anyway, man, thanks guys. Appreciate it, man. It's been a really cool, uh, little experience you're getting on. Finally, some new roads. Um, so just a few things in mind, just make sure you're here again tonight. We'll be rolling, uh, 10 o'clock. So it's good to see some familiar names that don't get a stay up late and also some new names. So thank you guys for coming out and summon. Uh, appreciate all the love and support there. Uh, we'll be getting at it again, hopefully around 10 o'clock tonight. So just check the channel here, uh, and I'll have it updated here. You'll be able to kind of log in early. And then we'll get going as soon as we can there at 10 o'clock with a uh, couple of giveaways tonight. So it should be good, man. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate it. And it's a good time to, yeah, I know, man. <laughs> I know, I know, man. It's good to see you, man. Uh, especially on your, on your time anyway. So, uh, so I'm at 10 PM Eastern standard time. So I'm on the East coast of the state. So, um, so you guys will be able to check out Tarmax here is one thing. Once you get it, you can be able to check out, uh, use those Tarmax for a giveaway. It was a perfect example to do that tonight. So I have a couple that'll be giveaway for everybody. And then I'll have maybe one or two. This is given for those guys that, um, that are higher up on the, on the spectrum. So it actually costs you tickets to get in the, into the, uh, into the giveaway. So other than that, guys, thanks as always. I will see y'all here in the next video, guys. We'll see ya. Peace out.